Hi everyone, it is Drew here from Card of My Eye, and today I'm going to be going over a layout from start to finish with you guys. I'd love to know if you guys like these types of videos because I would like to do more of them, but if you guys don't really like layouts, then um, I'd rather spend my time making other videos that you would like to watch. So please leave a comment below if you do like these styles of layout from start to finish videos. Before I actually go into the fast forwarding um, part, I am going to go over the tools and supplies and products I'm going to be using for this um, for this layout, I guess. Um, the first thing is this photo. I'm going to be using um, this photo here. I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see that, but it's just a photo at um, a water park. And then um, here are the tools and supplies I'm going to be using. So I think I'm going to start off with the paper, which is at the very bottom of everything. And I just grabbed an assortment of papers. I have the Sidewalks collection from October Afternoon. And I have, I'm going to start up here. I have just this yellow pattern with um, a plaid a plaid on the back. And these are all from the, the Sidewalks range, as you can see. This one's a really nice border sheet, which I love. So I'm going to be cutting apart some of these borders. And it has a really nice um, script on the back of that. Or just uh, text. And then I have a yellow gingham and some children on the back of that paper. And here is just a um, really pretty sort of vintage inspired floral with a red and white line and a, I really like this one, it has, it's called uh, marbles, and it has these circles and half circles, and it kind of creates these lines, and then there's a pink and a darker pink polka dot. And lastly, the paper from the sidewalks, I'm going to be using um, this one here, which is called Red Rover, and it has um, these really nice large letters with text in between, and then a really neat ledger style polka dot. So those are all the papers from the Sidewalks collection, like the actual collection. I also grabbed this piece of, um, this piece from the Crate Paper Neighborhood collection, just because I thought that I could use some of the elements in here for this layout. I really love this sort of postcard style. And then I grabbed this sticker sheet from Sassafras. This is from the, I do not, I'm not 100% sure which collection this is from, but there are some really nice border stickers on there, and these are actual peel-off stickers. Lastly, for um, the Sidewalks range, I am using the Shape stickers, and I've already used quite a few of them, as you can see, all around here, so I use some of those. And then I'm using the Sidewalks Word stickers, and these are, again, matching the collection, and hope that's visible. If you're curious about this over here, I'm going to be using some just buttons, and I have this bag of random buttons that I like to grab. And I was also thinking about including some canvas, so I used, I'm, I grabbed this Mistable, and this is um, by Tattered Angels for Prima, and it's a canvas, a printed canvas sheet, which I can cut out some of the elements on. As far as, oops, I forgot one of the papers. I grabbed this piece of Bella Boulevard paper from the Finally Fall range. It has this really nice wood grain, which I love, so I grabbed that. Maybe it could fit in there somewhere. As far as alphabet stickers, I grabbed um, just a whole range from the Mini Market and the Sticky Keys set by October Afternoon. I grabbed the Teal and Pink, Craft and Black, and Red and Black Sticky Keys. So I'm using those. I thought it'd be fun to sort of mix and match the letters. And I have this pack of thickers. These are the Elf font. And um, they're the silver with the polka dot. I think these, no, these are not the Amy Tangerine for American Crafts, but they are American Crafts stickers. These are the embellishments I'm going to be using. I have this pack of really nice Prima flowers. I thought I'd incorporate them somewhere. These are the Corrine flowers. Um, so I've had these for a while now, and I want to just incorporate them in the layout. They're pretty flat, so they'll um, be nice to include. But, of course, dimensional elements doesn't matter either. And then I have um, this Maya Road Craft envelope, Maya Road Craft doily. These are some My Mind's Eye, Gertie, Stella, and Rose label stickers. And I grabbed a couple pieces of the Miss Miscellany um, pack from the Sidewalks collection. These are like the vintage images and things. So I grabbed these because I might want to incorporate them. And then a package of die cut doilies, craft doilies by um, Maya Road. Uh, I really love these. So I might incorporate those. And lastly, just a couple of trims. This one is a Webster's Page Bloomer trim. And I have this vintage um, crocheted trim, which is actually vintage. Lastly, I have 
a couple more prima flowers these are just some random ones i thought might work in there and a ticket strip from maya road and a little bit of mr huey's barnwood mist by studio calico i thought all of that stuff just kind of would work together for this layout and I'm going to base it around this picture. I know the picture probably doesn't really go with the colors, but I'm going to add lots of colors. So hopefully it will all blend together at the end and we'll see what will happen. And again, I'm going to use some buttons as well. So I'm going to go into the sped up part right here and I'm going to be talking in the background so you guys know everything that I am doing. So enjoy everyone. The October Afternoon Sidewalks Collection, and I'm going to be using it as my background. It's the one in the corner there, and I'm going to be using the small strip of this pattern here um, with the yellow on the background, and I'm cutting two small strips of the red pattern, and I think that's from the Jump Rope paper, and then I'm using um, the border paper that I was talking about earlier, and I'm going to cut this gingham strip, which actually has little red dots on either side of the gingham, and then I'm cutting a strip of music note, um, as well as a strip of a blue and a white polka dot pattern. And I'm going to be using these strips just kind of in the layout itself. And then I'm going to be cutting a super, super thin strip of this dark blue with a light blue polka dot in it, which you'll see in a little bit there. But I'm going to be taking these um, cream and red colored strips and I'm using the Scallop Sentiment Punch by Fiskars to add a scalloped edge to them just to give them a bit more interest than if they were just straight there. And um, I'm keeping the extra little red pieces that come off the end, and you can see what it looks like here. I'm actually going to be um, using a bit of Distress Ink and Tattered Twigs from Tim Holtz's Holiday Release, and I'm going to ink the edges of everything. Um, and you're not going to need to ink the, the long 12-inch edge of the yellow piece because we're going to be overlapping our red strips over the top of it, but you will need to ink all of the red strips, and I'm using my ATG gun to adhere that down, and I'm not going to use my ATG gun for the rest of the video because um, the adhesive got all messed up when I just did that. You couldn't see it, so I'm going to be using this scrapbook adhesives adhesive, and I'm actually going to be pointing these scallops inward rather than outward, which I normally do. I'm going to put them inwards for something different, and this um, panel of paper, um, yellow paper, is more towards the bottom. And I'm taking this blue strip and I'm going to just sort of banner the edge. And then that was the leftover red and cream strip from our punched edge that we did to the scallop for the scalloped red and red strip. And I'm just laying down the different um, laying down the different strips that we did. And I'm going to take, this is the gingham strip that I first cut out, but I'm actually going to use the opposite side. And I messed up on punching it. So I'm going to show you right there. See, I messed up. So I'm going to actually use the por portion that I did not mess up on. And this is the Martha Stewart paper doily punch. And I'm going to use it um, as more of an intricate detail. And I'm going to ink the edges so it pops out from the background a little bit. And that is just going to go in with those strips as well. And I'm going to be placing this and matting it on top of this Bella Boulevard Finally Fall wood grain paper and just cutting it out. And that's just going to make your photo pop off of that yellow a bit more from that dark, dark background. See how it just pops off the yellow now? And then what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adhering down our strips. Now I'm just going to be using that scrapbook adhesives, um, adhesive again. Um, I normally use my American Crafts this to that, but it's all out. I really like that adhesive just because it, it is in small little dot adhesives. So it allows you to um, roll on top of the super thin pieces and then the extra adhesive will just roll off. And I'm going to adhere on the uh, doily pieces as if they're in a continuous line and you can't tell after you add your photo and I'm only adding glue to the middle of my photo because I'm going to be tucking things underneath it. I always suggest doing that. And then I'm adding a strip of the Maya Road ticket strip, which is in the craft. And I'm going to use a tiny little piece just to continue the strip on the opposite side. If it's just going all the way underneath the photo, that's a great way on how to save your your stuff. And I'm using a small portion of the Maya Road, or not Maya Road, the Webster's Pages Bloomer's Trim. And a little bit of the Miscellany Pack from the October Afternoon sidewalks collection and I'm not going to actually use that games I'm actually going to use this together one and I'm just going to use my tiny attacher to add staples to the top and it just kind of it suits that all of the kids are together in the photo and then I'm using this 
craft doily by Maya Rota, and I'm just going to cut a portion of it. I basically cut it into two-thirds and a one-third piece. So this is my one-third piece I'm adhering now. And then what I already adhered underneath was a two-thirds. And it just kind of creates um, sort of a corner detail. And I actually didn't staple there. It looks like I did, but I did not staple. I was seeing if I could. And I'm going to use a bit of this Tattered Angels for Prima Mistable, the canvas mistable, and I'm going to use just half of a butterfly. And I'm actually going to put it in a really odd position. I just um, added my glue, and I'm going to stick it down there. I know that looks like a really weird placement. And then I'm going to use my stapler and just add two little staples to secure my canvas. And the, now I am going in and using my craft doily from Maya Road, and I am just going to adhere those down underneath the photo. That's why I like to only add adhesive to the middle of my photo, just because I can then layer underneath it, which I always do. Now I'm going to be adding the title using the various, um, the various mini market stickers and sticky keys, as well as American Craft. American Crafts stickers, and I'm going to be titling A Trip to the Water Park. So the first A Trip was from the Teal and White mini monogram, and then I have on the the two, which is the sticky keys, and then the the is from the craft. And then we're going to be using this American Crafts Elf font, which is the silver and white. And I know the silver really doesn't look like it goes with it, but it kind of coordinates with the photo. So it's going to tie everything together. And I'm going to spell out the word water park with this. And I really, really love this font. I highly suggest getting this one. It really goes with everything, I find, and adds a bit of shimmer to your page, even though they're not that shimmery, but they are. They do have a little bit of shine to them. And I'm just going to spell it out just like that as I have it on there, overlapping the photo and part of the embellishment. So, now I'm going to take some of these these stickers from the uh, word sheet, and I'm going to use this little quote at the bottom, and I don't exactly know what it says because I can't read it on the screen, but um, at the end when I place the photos, you'll be able to know what it says. So, I'm using a Corrine flower in the bottom left corner, and a couple of the stickers from the image sticker sheet just here and there, such as the quote sticker, the domino sticker, and a little star. And I'm also going to incorporate this date sticker, and I'm going to place it over the top of the word water, just to add something a bit different to do. And I'm going to place that yellow frame or journal spot sticker underneath that blue Corrine flower just so that I could um, add a bit more yellow. Now I'm taking a bit of vintage white acrylic paint and a foam brush to add a space for journaling. So I'm actually just going to wipe it across that yellow and add a space for journaling. And I'm just going to let that naturally dry. And I'm taking another one of those image stickers from the sticker sheet. And I'm just going to be layering them underneath the photo again. And taking a bit of lace, this is the vintage lace I showed you at the beginning, and I'm going to put it underneath the underneath the actual bloomer trim. And the bloomer trim I will glue down in just a minute. I just didn't know what else I wanted to adhere, like around it or underneath it. I like to add my dimensional stuff at the very end. So I'm going to layer that on with some hot glue, and that is going to stick down, and I'm adding on top of it this yellow sticker or sorry, yellow flower, and I was thinking about adding another one of those paper flowers, but I actually didn't. And then I'm going to add the journaling with a, um, with a black pen, and I'm just going to add it on top of that white area. It just pops off more than if it was just on top of the yellow. And I'm adding it to all of my different journaling areas, like the date that I added on top of the water park, and then on the the little image at the top left. And I'm going to frame the page with a black pen. I've been doing this a lot lately. And then I'm going to add a couple more staples. I just like the look of the staples. I've gone through two full packages of the refills already, which is like 1,200 staples in each refill. And I'm covering the photo, and I'm going to use some Mr. Huey's ink just to add splatter paint on there. And I, it just covers your photo so you don't get any paint on it. And that was just a little scrap of paper from Graphic 45 I had sitting around. And then I'm going to take the... Um, white paint. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to squirt it on the background because I thought that that was just so distracting, that background I had, um, with everything else, that I'm going to paint it white. And I'm only going to paint what's inside of my, my border lines that I drew for myself. So see what I'm doing here? I'm just painting it white. And I know it kind of looks weird, but it looks a lot better when it dries and you can kind of see the, the paper a bit more through it. 
and I'm going to do it at the bottom as well. And if you get it on any stickers, it wipes off pretty easily. I got it on that blue quote sticker down there. So um, that is really the layout, you guys. I hope you enjoy, and I will catch you all next time. Bye, everyone.